molto importante. No, eh, tranquillo. Ah, uh, it was it was definitely jaw dropping for sure. Um, well, I know that your stamina is high in FIFA, so we can go based <laughs> off that as well. So that that's the confirmation as well, because we know that FIFA stats are always 100% accurate. Pull it, don't here. It's rude, pull it. Box to box, like the tackle. I look at it and I, I think, oh my gosh. Don't let the fact that we just got ourselves an 89 rated Weston McKinney Piemonte Calcio Showdown card that's about to go to a 91 rated distract you from the fact that there's an 18,000 coin kit called the Foot 18 Unicorn Kit, which I just absolutely bought and I'm going to showcase in this epi, distract you from the fact that England and USA are in the same World Cup group stage. And we only have to wait eight months until the games kick off. Dub. What's up, boys, and welcome to the 89 Weston McKinney, otherwise known as the American Hullet Episodia, featuring the Croatian mad lad Marcelo Brozovic, who is going to be getting that spicy link into the Ivan Perisic, which SBC actually expired today. So if you missed out on the Ivan Perisic, a little bit disappointing that the day that the Marcelo Brozovic SBC came out, the Ivan Perisic SBC also expired. If you did the Ivan Perisic, you're probably way more likely to do the Marcelo Brozovic card. And if you're running a Serie A squad, you're probably going to try to do both these cards if you haven't already gotten uh, if, you had, if you haven't already done the Sandro Tonali, that might be the X factor. That might be the reason that you don't do any of these cards. But I think that they're pretty well priced. And uh, yeah, today is April Fool's. So uh, today, like I said, we got ourselves a 140,000 coin Weston McKenney card. And I believe the Marcelo Brozovic is around, uh, the Brozovic is around 160,000 coins. So they're a little bit different in terms of price. Totally different cards. Very, very well rounded between the both of them. Uh, but some of them have some pros. Some of them have some cons. And obviously, being a USA boy, we had to represent for our main man, Weston McKenny, he's going to be the theme of the epi, and he looks absolutely cracked. The, uh, the game kicks off on Sunday, I believe April 3rd, so this Sunday, uh, the winner will get a plus two overall, the loser will get a zero, and then I believe if there's a draw, wait, what? what is this game coming up? This is, it's just a Serie A match, so there could be a draw. So they could go up plus two if you get the win, plus one if you get a draw, and plus zero if you don't win. So uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. looks like this is going to be a showdown promo. It's not really called a showdown. It's not, it's not really a promo, but under the SPC section, there is now a showdown live uh, section. There's also a Yarmolenko, aka Slavo Ukraini. But anyway, boys, we're about to dive right into it. Maybe you guys let me know what you think about these cards. We're about to look at some of the stats. We're obviously going to take them into some games. Uh, and uh, this is the first card that's come out in a while that I've actually got excited about. The Ivan Perisic I got excited about. But this Weston McKinney just looks like an absolute mad lad for about 140,000 coins. Again, maybe you guys let me know what you think about this promo. I don't even know if we can call it a promo. Smash like on Epi if you think it's absolute trash that we have a World Cup that's being played in the winter. And we have to wait literally eight months. I don't know. Maybe you guys let me know what you think about the World Cup draw as well. Uh, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. So uh, let's just dive right into it. So Weston McKinney is the highest rated total in-game stat midfielder in all of Serie A. Now, if we take the Serie filter away how high is he up on the uh how high up is he on the regular so uh, uh among all players in the game he is i believe right after tiago ahead of tony cruz ahead of the 90 rude hullet which is going for 2.5 million coins so he is in good company he's in the top 15 total uh, uh among any players in the game uh in terms of total in game stats and is the highest total in game stat player in the city yeah, which i just obviously said so three star three star a little bit meh uh would have been nice for him to get a little bit of an upgrade there has the high high work rates which is really nice and then we get into the stats and you can you guys can already see why this card looks ridiculous 94 acceleration 95 sprint speed 96 attack positioning with 85 finishing 91 shot power 87 long shots i feel like he could maybe even play striker uh, he's got himself some decent passing stats, 88 passing, 91 short passing, 86 long passing, really nice dribbling stats with 85 agility, that's what we're looking for with the midfielder, we got the nice 88 reactions with the ball control and the dribbling, has that really nice composure as well, has himself the average body type, and it's the defending stats, and it's the all-around stats with this Weston McKenney card where he really flourishes, has 86 standing tackle, goes up to 96 with the anchor, 95 strength uh, with 90 aggression, and then 89 stamina, uh, and then the giant throwing trait, which is a unique trait that not everyone has. Uh, if we go over to the Marcelo Brozovic, he's got the medium medium, he's got the three star, four star, he's got the 96 acceleration, 94 sprint speed, he's got the really nice long shots, doesn't have the shooting that the Weston McKinney has, but has some really, really nice defending stats as well. So he's more of like the, uh, I suppose, the tankier guy, but also has some long shots. Weston McKinney seems like he's the more uh, more well-rounded all around. Brozovic has the four star, four star, as well as the three star, four star, um, like I just said, and then has the 91 interceptions with the 91 stam, uh, with the 99 stam, the 99 aggression. 
and the 78 strength. So depending on what cards you already have and finesse shot trait needs to be noted. Depending on what uh, which of these cards you already have, it might be an easy upgrade. Obviously, Brozovic, I don't think has had any special cards. Uh, neither has Weston McKinney. But we're going to get into a couple games here. We're going to test out the Weston. We're going to test out the Brozovic. Uh, and I think we're actually going to run the 4-4-2. And uh, we are actually going to pop... Um, I think we'll have him be on balanced. And then I think we'll have them both be on cover center. So we're going to have them both be on balance. We're going to have them both be on cover center. And then West McKinney, I'm expecting the world from both these cards because they do, they both do look pretty cracked. But the guy who's about 20, 30,000 coins cheaper, Weston McKinney, he's the guy that's a little bit more attractive to me. Also, obviously, have a little bit of a USA bias as well, but just looks like a ridiculous, ridiculous card. Match number one. It's rude, it's a great goal. Wait, Brozovic has the lean body type? Hold on a damn second. I didn't know that. Yeah, Brozovic has the lean body type, man. Oh, he's got the little gazelle legs. All right, so Brozo's got the lean body type. He moves pretty nice. Give it to the... Hand it over to the boy Weston McKinney. But, dude, Weston moves kind of nice as well, though, bro. Yeah, for... Weston McKinney just looks like a guy that you could dominate a little bit more. Brozovic actually looks... I was expecting Brozovic to be a little bigger. Um, but, uh, yeah, Brozovic looks... Uh, Brozovic hella lean, dude. He's the best! It's just, it's just Weston McKinney doing what Weston McKinney does. He doesn't lose the ball. The first thing that you're going to notice about Weston McKinney is that he's just everywhere. The acceleration. Oof! Yo, I was literally, I was literally half kidding when I said that you could run Weston McKinney at striker. But the man actually, what does he have for finishing? He, does he have 86 finishing? Weston McKinney has 85 finishing, man. With 91 shot power and 87 long shots. Dude, this guy with 97, with 96 attack positioning, he is legitimately an attacking force. Yeah, Weston McKinney, bro. Look at the acceleration. Marcelo Brozovic with the finesse. <laughs> McKinney coming up with the double. He's coming in with a goal. He's coming in with the assist as well. But Marcelo Brozovic coming in with a goal that you would expect him to score with his long shots that he has as well as the lean body type. For under 150,000 coins, the Weston McKinney, right? I know it's three-star, three-star, but damn, dude. This is a beefy card. Most total in games. So again, I'm just going to repeat. And it's a stat that obviously means a lot more to me. Uh when it comes to uh, midfielders, but most total in-game stats among any player in the Serie A. So if you're looking at midfielders, it's hard to argue that... It would be hard to argue that there's a better player than uh, Weston McKinney. Maybe the Sandro Tonali. The Brozovic, obviously, is in the argument, uh, is in the conversation as well. Yeah, Brozovic with the nice little gazelle legs. Yeah, don't, guys, don't sleep on Brozovic just because he's the more expensive option of the two. Look at Westo. Rozo. Yeah, ne neither of them have the four-star skill moves, but they have really nice dribbling for midfielders. Finesse. All right, Weston McKinney might have a hidden finesse. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still uh, recovering from being sick. Weston McKinney may just have himself a hidden finesse shot trait. I missed out on the Sandro Tonali because he was 220,000 coins on the RTG, right? I was, uh, you know, uh, irresponsible with my coin total. Uh, spent it on too many upgrade packs. Spent it on too many um, icon upgrade packs. And I missed out on the Sandro Tonali. So if you missed out on Tonali, I think Brozovic and McKinney give you an option or give you an opportunity to get back in the race for having one of the better uh, midfield cards. And then Weston McKinney just going in and firing an absolute missile strike from the 40-yard box. Yo, Weston McKinney, bro. Yeah, he's cracked. 
<laughs> He's so cracked. Really, I love this. I love the McKenny card. Henrik Vigatarian. He just, he, he just, he envelops players. He fights, he fights for the badge. Yeah, Weston is a serious card, bro. If I'm keeping it an absolute buck 50 with you, there's really not too much to say. He's under 150,000 coins. Even without the upgrade, I think he is absolutely banjaxed. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the two goals. And the thing about the uh, the thing about the Weston McKinney card is, you know, Brozovic obviously has some attacking uh, has some attacking ability as well with his distance shoot with his distance uh, with his distance bangers. But um, oftentimes EA will, will release like a like midfield cards and like something will be missing, whether it's attacking, whether it's agility, whether it's passing, whether you know the pace split is kind of sus. This Weston McKinney card is just complete. He has a hidden finesse shot trait. He's able to bang this one in from distance, put it past uh, put it past Schmeichel. And then this one was the one that really surprised me because this isn't even a finesse distance banger. This is just a proper FIFA 16 uh, distance banger with Weston McKinney using his left analog stick dribbling to get around uh, and then using... Uh, using that shot power that he has, Pele getting out of the way, and then Schmeichel not even standing a chance. So, so I think this game could legitimately go either way. So we have no idea. Both cards very, very good. Attacking wise, obviously the Weston McKenney is the better one and the better, all, uh, the more, the more well-rounded player it has the high, high, the high, high. So uh, way more of a box-to-box -box card. So just a very, very fun card. I loved him. He has himself what is that? Four goal contributions and two matches played from the RCM position. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say. And again, this is not my American bias. Four and a half out of five in terms of value. In terms of on the pitch performance, I'm going to say four out of five. Uh, did everything that we asked of him. Was able to get into the attacking front. Was able to do some... Uh, is, it felt really, really strong in the defense because he does have the average body type and he's got that six foot height. Uh, you just feel really confident defending with him and I love the way that he moved on the pitch. So I'm going to say four to five in terms of on the pitch performance. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and say four to five in terms of value for the Brozovic. Um, I think he would look a lot more attractive if he did get a plus one or a plus two, whereas the Weston McKinney, I feel like it's cracked enough already, so I think the McKinney is better value, a little bit cheaper as well, and then in terms of on-the-pitch performance, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say three and a half out of five in terms of Brozovic. Defending-wise, sometimes he felt a little bit suspect. Again, I don't know if it's the body type. Sometimes these things are a little bit mental, but uh, to be very clear, I like both of these cards a lot. I give both these cards a thumbs up. Both come in under about 160,000 coins, uh, and both have the possibility to get a plus one or even a plus two, uh, so for that reason, I'm going to give the both of them a thumbs up, uh, and uh, on a Friday where we're just trying to yang, uh, we're just trying to yam out, uh, you know, for my American boys that are putting together a full USA men's national team, I present to you arguably the best USA, uh, the, the best uh, USA player in all of FIFA that's not named uh, the uh, the Heat, uh, Christian Pulisic. But that is going to do it for the Epi Boys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, smash like. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will catch you guys for another one tomorrow. Till next time, boys. Tschüss. Later. Update.